welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri and today we are checking out 1976 Dnieper four years before uh, Olympic Games in uh, Soviet Union. This bike was built four years prior. This bike has been recently restored by a team of Dnieper enthusiasts in Ukraine and then this bike was imported into United States and we're not sure it spent some time uh, a few years here and there and eventually it was sold as a part of the estate and it made its way to one of our customers who brought it into our service department to sort out a few things on the bike and it turned out to be a pretty expensive uh, project so he decided to trade it to us and buy a brand new euro not a bad option so please consider that before you get into expensive restorations so we finished up the few things that the bike needed after long storage here in united states and it now starts rides drives whatever you call it and the reason i say that uh, drives because this bike is set up for the sidecar operation it has a reverse gear it has all the hookups for the sidecar so you can definitely drive it or you can ride it as a solo so let's get close to this machine and uh, i think the best part of this bike is the way it was restored in ukraine the labor hour cost of labor hour in ukraine is a lot less than it is here in the united states or anywhere else in europe and uh, uh, they certainly spend hours hours and hours to bring this bike to the condition that it is both cosmetically on the body parts and frame and certainly mechanically on the engine transmission a lot of new old stock parts were installed and we're sharing it with you now and the bike is available so check it out on alphacars.com let's get closer and let's take a look at some fine really fine details of this gorgeous restoration job i don't know how many thousands of dollars one would spend around here to do this kind of restoration it starts on the first kick whether it's cold or warm engine it does have this teardrop classic lines check out the teardrop gas tank a frame single piece uh, headlamp telescopic forks and a really really nice horizontally opposed 750 cc engine look at all the mechanical components of the front brakes look at all these cool linkages for the rear brake system shaft driven uh, rear wheel with a final drive it resembles a lot of Euro parts but they're not the same these are two different motorcycles a lot of cool things you're gonna find on the Dnieper that Euro's never had or did away over the years to keep to keep them simple and therefore more reliable but this is a great bike and we're so excited to share to share um, the availability of the bike and the excitement that we have over this bike so uh, let's uh, get on the bike let's ride it here at Alpha cars a little bit and uh, that will give you a great idea of what this bike is and if by chance there's something that we did not cover in this video or in the listing uh, definitely reach out to us we're very easy to get a hold of you can find us on alphacars.com a l p h a c a r s find the listing for the bike if it's a bike still available it would be so, uh, listed under the inventory if it is a sold already you can find it under sold vehicles you can also give us a call at 978-263-9000 so let's get going with getting the bike started and riding it around first gear you see this and look at my left hand i actually don't have it on the clutch uh check this out so 
I'm going to engage the gear without holding the clutch. Check this out. No, look at this. My left hand is right here. I am in first gear and I didn't have to clutch at all. So look at this clutch. The clutch is engaged by uh, engagement of the foot. So if I feel comfortable releasing that lever with my left foot, I can do that. But since this is a solo bike, it is mainly, this was designed for the sidecar and this bike has all the goodies to connect the sidecar. And yes, you can connect the Ural sidecar. So now with the first gear engaged, I'm actually, just to be on a safe side, I'm gonna hold the clutch. Now I can release my left foot, check this out, and I can start taking off. And this bike is all about torque, a lot of torque. You can just feel the torque right under your rider's seat. And it's a heavy bike, but it has uh, a low center of gravity. So it, it does very, very, very well. And yes, I can shift it into second. Very rewarding shifting. Excellent brakes, very, very smooth. Feels almost like hydraulic brakes. Plenty of power, plenty of performance. And yes, you can clutch with your left foot. Isn't that something? Isn't that something amazing? So uh, we realigned the gas tank, we did all the things that you'd want to do on the old bike so they're all done and we're gonna shut it off and show you uh, some cool things about this this motorcycle first we're gonna put it in neutral which I just did and you can feel how the clutch um, how you engage the clutch with your foot unless you already squeezed it with your hand uh, we are also gonna let you uh, see how the bike get started with a Kickstarter because it doesn't have the uh, it does not have the uh, it has the reverse gear so let's see if we can make this work so we're gonna okay so uh, you can see the reverse gear is there and you can actually use it we are going to I just want to go back from we have cars coming in and out and I wouldn't uh, be comfortable going in reverse on the solo bike. I just wanted to show you that it does have the reverse in case you set it up with a sidecar. So we do have the clutch. We are neutral. We're going to try to give it a, uh, a start with a kickstart because we don't have an electric start on this one. Let's see. And as any Russian motor vehicle, it starts right up. By the way, we just posted uh, some footage for our Russian cars and we have some cool comments. Uh, one of them, I liked all of them, but one of them uh, was, was great. It said that uh, Russian cars are most reliable in the winter because they're best in the winter and they're safest in the winter because they most likely would not start so you wouldn't go in really bad weather. That was a good one. But let's uh, check out this bike and let's show you all the restoration details. This vintage Dnieper has a phenomenal, really cool retro looks. And uh, this particular one has been professionally restored uh, in Ukraine. We believe in Ukraine. We did not restore it. We bought it from one of our Euro customers who purchased it for his own uh, restoration, but uh, it needed some, uh, some actually good amount of work that he ended up and he decided to trade it towards a brand new Euro. So the bike is fully operational. Everything works, everything runs. Um, it is definitely an old vintage bike and uh, we wouldn't want to represent it in any other way. 
it everything shifts everything starts everything drives uh, rides and uh, it, it's a great looking bike but certainly uh, for reliability and ease of operation and the safety of it it would not even remotely compete with uh, new Ural motorcycles that you can purchase from Ural of New England so please keep that in mind but if you're into something really unique vintage and kind of turnkey that you don't have to chase parts and do a lot of work this is it so let's take a closer look at the finish at the details and this bike is nicely done and there are some really cool things i showed you one with uh, with uh, clutching through the shifter lever uh, here's one as far as uh, long-term maintenance. Look at this grease point that feeds grease right to the wheel bearings. Isn't that awesome? The way the restoration is done on this one is really, really nice. The cost of labor hour in Ukraine is a lot less than in the United States. It's getting more and more expensive, but it's still nothing like around here. So. Uh, guys down there can afford to do this kind of restoration not to mention they have access to uh, new old stock parts like the old electrical system all the harness little levers carburetors look at the alternator they're all uh, brand new parts comes with the Russian uh, Ukrainian or actually back then it was Soviet Union uh, Republic of Ukraine uh, plates uh, it is stands for the uh, one of the cities in Ukraine the seats are in great shape check them out as I said we um, relined the gas tank with the best materials uh, money can buy it's it's all good um, no issues so please keep that in mind you don't have to worry about that yeah the condition of the engine engine parts and it hasn't been leaking anything it's been nice and dry check that out I'm not saying it's gonna stay that way forever but it's uh, all the time that we had it here it's been nice and uh, uh, dry so simple bike awesome restoration uh, the best feature of this bike right now that it is still available and yes if you go and visit uh, us on the website alphacars.com uh, you'll be able to purchase it for yourself we keep it simple we take trades we do financing uh, and we transport so we could uh, certainly transport this uh, bike to the destination of your choice uh, the original mileage of this machine is unknown but since restoration it only has three kilometers thank you very much for viewing this video from alpha cars and Ural motorcycles of new england uh, we enjoy uh, your visits when you have a chance to come and see us here in our Boxborough location, in our Acton showroom, in Northampton, New Hampshire location, or our Spencer showroom. All four locations, we would love to see you. If uh, you're not uh, close by to visit us, visit us on Alpha Cars, A L P H A C A R S dot com, or simply give us a call at 978. 263-9000. Thank you very much for viewing this video.